Hey, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Trelawney mission. A Trelawney mission, I spy, with me, Dead Eye. I wonder what this is gonna be all about. Let's see. Oh. Oh, he sat there for a whole night smoking. Wow, Arthur. Oh, there you are, my dear boy. Yes, Hello, yeah. Trelawney. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Smartened well, up. Can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee River boat looking like this. Can't. Not if you want to fit in so well, no one realizes you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. What are you talking about? That suit is not fit for the suit. Hand. What are you talking about, suit? Is Trelawney about to get me fitted nice and clean? Bye. But I don't want to buy the suit there, sir. I already just had to pay off a $300 bounty. Ooh. Which one am I buying here? Hold on. Zoom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Read. Mm-hmm. Got that view. That looks good enough. I, I say we should buy that. There you go, sir. Take your little book back. And wow, Arthur, you are looking... Super spiffy. So I take it the way he's explaining it to me right now is that I got fitted for a suit to go set up a certain kind of like card game, gambling game that me and Javier are gonna crash and rob. But that's that's weird. So what is this all about, Trelawney? Are you gonna like? Oh, he's gonna get me my haircut, dude. My hair is so long. Could you smarten up, my dear hick friend? Yep. Dear hick friend, hair. Yeah, look at how long Arthur's hair is. This is this is so funny. Uh, give it a trim. I really like Arthur's hair, like kind of long, but. There we go. And then why not? While we're at it, just uh, give us a little. Oh, wait a minute. By the palm made, whatever. Uh, facial hair. I need to get this done too. Whoa. Wow. They got like all these. Well, it wouldn't let me do any of the other ones, but uh, look at how Arthur looks. He looks very, very. Arthur ain't half bad looking, you know? Wow, living the fancy life as Arthur Morgan. Wow, okay. Yep, cross the road, lady. Come on, let's go. Alright, we've made it. Uh, let's go uh, play some gambling games or win some money or whatnot, Mr. Uh, Trelawney. Javier, here's Strauss. How's it going here, boys? We look so dripped out. I like Javier's. I'm rich as can be. Uh, not that much, but like kind of. I'm not gonna tell you. Drinks are on me. I don't know why everybody's saying that. Drinks are on me. Drinks are on me. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. Okay. Find myself a change of clothes. I don't know how to play poker. That's the fun part. I don't know how to play poker. Your wife is going to kill me. Yeah, sit at the poker table. Okay. I'll go sit at the poker table. Why not? Uh, hey, poker friends. See, I... Not to worry. Tessman Bly. Game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. Nope, you're a player. <sighs> Too many cowards <sighs> at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Oh, I... Look at this. Yeah, You're I have... I don't know what's going on here, guys. Uh, tab to focus on Strauss. Oh. He's gonna signify when... Oh, no, wait, no, not him. 
I know, Jack. I think I'll I'll go. Oh wait, I'm outside. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I'll uh. My other you have Jack High. What the world? I I have no clue what's going on here. Raise. There this we go. Is probably a bad idea. I'm, I'm sorry, Arthur. I don't know how to do any of that, man. Uh. Oh, wow. Uh, auto bet. Auto bet. Uh, call. Okay. Um. Uh. Oh, I can raise. Uh, how about that? Eat that. Call. What the hell? Bro, is that my picture down there? <laughs> Bottom left. Oh, wow, that's... Okay, sorry, boys. I'm taking it all. We'll see about that. I don't know how to play poker. Take my turn. I don't know what to do here. Am I gonna, like... I can't lower the amount. Community cards. Yes, I'm playing. Shut up. I think I might call this one too. Call. Here we go then. Well, hello, oh, King High. Jack Nine. Queen High. King High. Okay, so it looks like. Oh. Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you know. I won a poker match without trying before. And it was on the one mission where you have to chase the reverend around. And I was and I was actually beating him good too. Uh, yeah, I'm an oil man. Woohoo! Camera on my left alt. Oh. Woohoo! Ooh, queen queen! You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna raise the ten. I would stick to Hmm. Oh, do you? Like Calling it. Just like my wife. <laughs> Got nothing. My cards. Auto bet. Uh, call any. Here it is. All in. All in. Jack Ace! Pair of cowgirls. Pair of cowgirls. Yes! I won five hundred dollars. I guess my luck held. I won. Done? Done. Yeah. All right, you got something else to play with. Meaning. I won five hundred bucks. Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Oh, he mad. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real well, it's obviously not five hundred dollars, cause <laughs> you don't have any. <laughs> Man, he's really bent all out of shape about this freaking poker loss. Again? Okay, win the Rootlinger pocket watch in poker. Oh. Oh. All right, what are my cards? King, 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 king. Oh, uh huh. Uh huh. All in. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Come on, King King. Pair of, Very good, Pair of aces. Good no, I lost. Shit. Okay, that's rigged, obviously. There's no way that's random. I don't get uh -oh. King King and he gets ace ace. Yes, uh oh. You little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blind. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. Oh. God damn you! Oh ho ho. No offense. Oh ho ho. Well played, sir. Unlucky Desmond. Now, forgive my lack. I guess I'm just better in poker, I man. Watch. I guess I'm just better. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Man, <laughs> get your silly watch, Please, sir. Cash these out for me. I started last week. Who's this? Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. 
<gasps> Javier! You became a lawman! Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. Oh. Okay, Javier's gonna beat you up. Hi, Javier! It's me, Arthur! I cannot believe someone gets Javier! 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 We live in strange times. Javier, it's me, Arthur! I wouldn't trust one with Javier! It's me, Arthur! He has a gun, Javier. I'm I'm pretty scared. Javier! It's me! Oh! Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. Okay. <laughs> Smacked him against the wall. Loot the safe. Oh yeah. What do we got in here? What do we got in here? Sorry. It had to be that way. I'm trying, Javier. Jesus. A few thousand? Oh, others. Yeah, it's just me and a lawman. I don't even know this guy. Uh-oh. That's not good. Javier! They're going to check! How exactly are we getting out of here? We're swimming! Sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can canning off the side. Can canning. By the way. Thanks. Give anyone a job these days. Really? So I think we came away pretty good. To the bar, senor Javier. Hey, uh, Desmond, you, uh, you getting schooled in, in poker, Desmond. Or did we kill Desmond? Was that the guy we just killed? I don't think it was. Trelawney. Oh, no, wait, that's Desmond. Trelawney. We killed someone. Don't be a sore loser, friend. Something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. Oh, God. Come on, Arthur. Gotta get <laughs> okay. All right, then. I got a shot on you guys. Man, murking them. Oh, yeah. Murking them boys. <laughs> Boy. Boy, what you doing? Escape the riverboat. Oh, no, wait. That's Javi. Holy cow. Uh. I shot him through the railing. Watch out, Javier. Yeah. Oh, your suit. We have plenty of more things to worry about than your suit. Now the money's all wet. Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. Well, that was better than the robbery on the few thousand I think pretty good yes indeed and this watch uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss uh, a Reutlinger or something nice watch yes it's a Reutlinger all right Reutlinger I'll give it back then all right come on let's get out of here that was pretty fun I like that one two forty no 14 minutes on the first mission. I think that's got to be a new high. Uh oh, we got a an Arthur thingy. Nope. Or he's just gonna stand there. Riverboat robbed. Read all about it. We did it. We did that. Let's go give our pal Dutch a visit. There you are, Dutch. How you doing, Dutch? All right, revenge is a dish best eaten. 
Oh, wow, look at us. Where's the boy at? The one who got his leg bitten off. Uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, uh. Hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. Yeah, Bill. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch him out there, boy. Uh. Watch him. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What did he see? What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though I do. <clears throat> well, uh, leaving love aside, uh, <coughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. Uh, along with uh, Faith. Oh, there's some gators again. All right, guys. We're gonna go kill, uh, what's his face? Good luck to you. Come on, let's go. Hey, Dutch. <laughs> what, we're all climbing now? Fine, I could, I could do that too. Let's go. <laughs> wow, that was a lot, Dutch. It really hurt me, Dutch. Uh, gotta get my Lancaster repeater out, Dutch. I'm about to blow some, uh, about to blow some Bronte up, Dutch. Lenny, Bill, you're with me. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. See a shot? Okay. I see a shot. Luck, right here. <laughs> Fine, John. I'll be willing to do it for you, because I like you, John. John, did I ever tell you how cool of a friend you were? Remember that time we went robbing the, the, the graveyard? I see a shot right there. I see some. Oh. Oh, they're here. I found one. Yeah, I got the one on the right. You want me to kill him? Oh. Oh, that's... See, that's what we planned on doing, Ditch. I keep shooting the wall here. Goodbye. Nah, more like goodbye to your shoulder. Man, why do I keep shooting? Whoa, okay. Your time is up, Angelo Brown Tay. I'm a cowboy. I'm a cowboy. Ow! Boy, boy. Boy, boy. Boy, boy. Boy, 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 boy. Load Arthur, load. Load Arthur, load. Ow. Come on, Arthur, load. Man, you suck. Did I kill that guy? No. Oh, yep, I did. His eye socket went flying out. <laughs> Angelo, just quit already. You're going to lose anyway, boy. It's locked. Shoot it. What? <laughs> it locked onto something else. Wait, wait. I can't move. Uh. Why can't I? Uh, I can't move. Hello. 
Yeah. Yeah, maybe do that, John. Ooh. I have never seen that kill cam before. Oh my god! Oh my. This is just too fun. Watch out, Bill. Bill, I almost just murdered you. A lot, apparently. Get out of here, boy. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Search for Bronte upstairs. I'll look for him upstairs. <gasps> a mirror. A double mirror, though. Whoa. Oh. Oh my goodness. That's freaking awesome. Beep, you're dead. Bronte. Angelo Bronte. Where are you, Angelo Bronte? Watch out, John. Move, John. Move. What, you wanna kiss? Come on. Come on, kiss me. <laughs> kiss me, John. Angelo Bronte. Whoa, that's not Angelo. Man, stay down. What happened? I have no clue where that shot came from. What was that? Alright, there's, there's that kill. Boom, 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 boom. Hi there. Oh my god, I'm too good. Yeah, no, he's not in here. Okay, I think we already discussed this. He's not in here. Bronte, are you in here? There's somebody behind the door in there. Bronte! Oh my god, split time. Yeah, who shot me? Oh, it was probably him. Oh, oh. I'm sorry, friend. Oh, name your price. Name your. That looked like it hurt more than getting shot. Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I. Did you kill him? Oh yes. Just take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. Nah, I'll loot him. Nah. A hundred and fifty-five dollars. Who keeps $155 on them while their home is being invaded? Oh man, the lawmen are outside. Oh! Oh my god! I'm carrying Bronte! What do you want me to do? You know, I'm trying to carry Bronte, and y'all are expecting me to be the sharpshooter I am. Bam, bam. Uh oh! Uh, from behind. Man, just kill him already. Wow. We're on the left. Okay. Took care of that one. Watch out, dude! Come on, Dutch! Come on, Dutch! Kidnapping. Put him in front. Bill. Bill. Got him. Oh, come on, Lenny. Uh oh. What's going on with Lenny? Oh, there he is. Let's get out of here. Why Lenny to take so long? Yep. Oh, hey, big man. We gonna ransom you or what? Oh, you're pussy. Well, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money. It weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. Well, obviously, we're something. Me nothing. 
If we rob your entire house and I run a city. You run a city. You will die like nothing. I am this country. You 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 are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. You don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. You're insane. What are you gonna say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. A thousand dollars? I have nine thousand dollars and I made it like it was oh, nothing. Right. You are so right. They are good at smelling filth, huh? So oh. filth has got to be this friends of Oh wow. Oh, wow. Gonna come and rescue you, you repulsive little maggot. Oh. 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 Call them now. You call them. Dang, Dutch. Dutch quit. He's gonna die, Dutch. Jesus. What in your philosophy books cover feeding a fellow? The goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers weakness. Wow. That part. Damn, Dutch. Oh, no. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. And it was obviously us. I figure it might as well be him. Yeah, it's obviously him. Okay. I didn't see Dutch drown a man and feed him to an alligator. I like how clueless Arthur is just, he's just like, what is happening? What's going on here? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, are we back at camp? Yes, we are. Huh. Well, that was, uh, crazy. I was just trying to help some guy from a robbery. And bros, freaking wagon started levitating. Oh. Uh, hello, stranger. I'm supposed to meet you here. I got a 1.5 liter of Dr. Pepper. Who are you? Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. The mayor. To be clear, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? What did we this do? Is Rainsfall, a great chief. Hi, Rainsfall. Eagle Flies. Hello, Eagle Flies. I saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. Oh. Party, you were upstairs. Powers of observation. Yes, my people, if we are even a people anymore, we've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken, and we've been moved. And you fight. gotta kind of feel bad for the Indians because, like, just imagine us living right now, and then all of a sudden, the, you know, some outsiders come in. We have no government. The outsiders come in. These outsiders that we have no clue about. They just push us, they push us all west, and if we don't go, they kill us, and it's, it's, to do with oil. it's, I know it is, but I need the proof, I believe there was some prospect, wow, that was, oh, my goodness, who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land, so, you want me to? Try and steal it. Steal what? Obviously they can't. Steal oil? Even more obviously, I already I stole oil for John. Listen, so we could rub a train. It is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. 
I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. How much? Thank you. How much? You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, an appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. Oh. Uh. Officer wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting, I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. So I'm not getting paid? Oh, no, there we go. You know, I always found those, like, Indian names. Like, uh, what was it? Uh, Eagle Flies and, like, uh, I've, I've always found those names, like, super cool. That is, until your name is, like, Swamp Lettuce or something. Like, something very derogative. And it's just, like, it ruins the whole mood. Like, oh yeah, what's your name? Mine's Majestic Bird Sky, and... Okay, what's your name? Uh, my name is, uh... My name is Tomato Stem. Are we going to the same tar place we robbed, uh, with John? for that one train mission. I honestly think it was. Eagle Flies, I'm here. Uh, I'm looking for a Mr. Eagle Flies. Fly like an eagle. Uh, ooh, hello there, Mr. Eagle Flies. How are you doing? On this fine, lovely afternoon day. His the file's in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a What fence? <laughs> I don't see no fence. All I see is open land. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. Okay, well then, let's go sneak in a place for Mr. Uh... Oh, hey. Nah, I'll I'll climb into here. I'm good. I'll, I'll hop up right in. Yep, there we go. Cinematic camera. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. Uh, hey, Dutch, uh, what are we doing in here? Uh, Arthur, we're going to rob Cornwall. Oh man, this wagon is really bumpy. Who is driving this? Because they freaking suck. Dutch, we're almost there, Dutch. Arthur. I, I, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Alright, where are we going? I have no clue. I, I I can't remember if this is the place or not. Wow. This is a very nice lower frame rate uh cover. Is that you, Al? Yep, it's me. Hey, I'm Al. Pick it up. Yep. Hey. To I'm Tom too. I'm Al Tom. Okay. Tom Al. My name is Tom Out. <gasps> Tom Out. <laughs> oh my god. I'm Leviticus Cornwall. I am Angelo Bronte. Uh. Well, I guess I'm gonna get out then. I don't suppose why, but. I guess I'll try it. Sneak into the factory. You got it, Chief. 
I can do that in a heartbeat. See, look, man, in a heartbeat with a great amount of time, or a great amount of editing, I mean a great amount of heartbeat, you two are able to... What the heck is this in here? Okay. Let's go. Sneakily sneaking. Just like mom used to. And then we can go and have a fun time once we get to the top. Where we get all the money and all the women and all the Dutch and all the Tahiti mangoes and the entire world, you know what I'm saying? Dutch. Uh-huh. Mumbling helps me out a lot, guys. What? Oh, wait. That's a guy downstairs. Oh, there's a guy right over there. Mm. Go away, mister. Go away, mister. What, I'm supposed to get to that door? I mean, I suppose that isn't too hard if he's just going to be looking at the window the whole time. Don't mind me, sir. Let me just sneak past you here and, uh... Hopefully there's nobody else up here. Nope. Yep, yep, you keep looking that way, sir. I'm gonna just sneak right through this conveniently lighted door here, and, uh... I'm gonna easily sneak in. Uh-oh. Danbury! Oh! Hey, it's, uh, like Walter and Saul. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A fire. Aw. Danbury head seems office. like a nice guy, though. You're not from head office? Uh, yeah, I am. Does that seem important right now? No. I need a file by the Leland Oil Development one about the oil near Wapiti. I... I... Wapiti. Come on! Give me the money, but Whoa! Damn, Barry. Think, man. A mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over <laughs> such a nice <laughs> floor as this. Damn, Barry. I'll give you five. Four. Huh? Okay. The good old mom... Spanking countdown works perfectly. It works even better if you're in an. Oh, oh, file. Like a nail file? Yay or nay? You've done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just. I'm working. All's fine. Somebody go. Stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Head office. Escape the office through the window. What am I going to jump out of it? Alright, Arthur. Whoa! Slippy slidey tam. Oh. Listen now, fellas. Oh my god. Find Eagle Files. Eagle! Eagle! Ah! Eagle! Woo! -hoo. Holy cow. There are lots of men. I mean, lots of them, too. Holy cow. Hey, there he is. I found him. Whoa. Get out. Get, get, go. I'm coming. Just took me a minute. Uh, now seems like a perfect time to use the uh, double action. Or no, wait. What, what, what works good? The, the Shola field. Yeah, this one's a pretty solid revolver. I think we outnumber you. Boy, laggy horse gunfights. I hate these. 
And uh, there we go. Nice. Should I use my bow too? We lost them. Wow. That's a that's a pretty picture right there. They're gone. I don't Oh wow. What a shot. some use here's your money oh how much how much how much how much did I get from mr. Eagle Tell take and 125 we officially have ten thousand dollars in Red Dead Redemption 2 how crazy is that we have a Dutch mission Dutch is definitely a Dr. Pepper guy. Do we have enough time for this Dutch mission? Or is it going to be like too... Is it going to be too long? Oh, this one doesn't look too promising. Banking the old American art. This one seems like a bank robbery. So, I'm gonna... <clears throat> Do I have time? I'll make it next episode. Yeah, definitely next episode. So guys, that'll do it for today's episode. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. What in the world? I just got a call from an unknown caller. Hello? Yes? Uh-huh. Wow, really? Oh. Okay, 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 I will. Yep, I got it. Okay. Wow. Okay. Sweet. Bye. Believe it or not, I just got a call from Dutch Vanderlind, and he said I need to play this bank robbery mission. He said if he doesn't do it, I don't get to go to Tahiti with him. So what are we doing? We're back to the sticks. Dutch, I got the call from you. Aaron, Tilly, Abigail, I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police? It's a city. There are police, but as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the diversion. That's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. We linger around here. We know we're dead. But the plan? We got a decent bunch. <coughs> fight. The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. That's what Jose is saying. It's as good a plan as any. I, I think I agree. Can we do it he agrees night? with us for once? Holy cow. Let's well, rob this bastard. Rob Here's this? Who are we I robbing? What are we robbing? I have no clue. It, it looks like a bank robbery. That's what it looked like. But, you know. You got everything, Arthur. Sure. Ooh. No, rob Fancy Arthur and again. And within Six weeks we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. Let's well, yes, that was the whole plan of Tahiti, right, Hosea? Yeah! I remember nothing about another bank robbery, so... I don't know. Dutch, how many times have you said one last ride? This, uh... This riding sequence... There go our brave cowboys. They're gonna go supposedly rob a bank. Livery boarding stable. Was Micah celebrating whenever we found Jack? Like that big celebration they were having? Cause I swear to god I didn't see him once there. He might have been like uh, in his depression arc. There's Bill. Let's hitch up here. Uh oh. Oh, you know, it's like eight men 
hitching their horses at a in front of a bank with bandanas around their necks. This couldn't go any worse. It ain't no crime at all. Folk like this. Oh my god, look at Bill. He is iced out. <laughs> he looks like Colonel Sanders. Micah's suit looks pretty fine too. Dutch's, eh, John's, kinda looks like mine. Whoa! Okay! Big explosion. Alright, let's go. Where are we walking to? We look like uh, the Beatles crossing Abbey Road or whatever it's called, Abbey Lane or whatnot. That's what we all look like. Uh, I'm gonna eat some venison. Venison. I wonder, what was that big explosion? Oh, hello, Javier. Let's go. Let's yes. Do oh my, who is that? Uh, Everybody, who is that? Get on in there. <laughs> who is that? Hold on. That's Javier. Open up the vault, Sonny. There's Bill. They're all wearing cloth masks. Open it faster. Let's go. There we go. Oh. Oh my. I got the safe. I got the safe. No, we can just lock it like, yep. There's one. And... Fifty-four. You got it. Okay, there we go. Would you look at that? <laughs> what did I tell you? Gimme, gimme! <laughs> uh, loot. Oh, man. Let's go. Okay. Trouble already? Come on, man. Did they know it's a setup? It's over. Wow. Dutch, get out here. Get oh out no. Here it's moron and should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton? Let my friend go. For folks, they are gonna get shot unnecessarily. Your friend? <laughs> Why would I do that? Come on, Milton. It's over. Let no go, Jose. No more deals. Mr. Milton? This is America. You can always cut a deal. I've given you enough chances. Come on. <gasps> oh. Jose, I know. <gasps> Jose, I know. No. Oh, oh, man. God damn it. Oh. There's your deal, Dutch. Jose. Ah. Oh. Oh. <sighs> yes, I know they killed Jose Eleni. That's the whole freaking premise of this.
Yeah, screw that guy on top. Out of here. Too many? I see two less of them. Hello. Oh. Bam. Yeah, I'm alive. Wow. Pick up the dynamite. Where's the dynamite? There it is. I'm working on it, dude. Shut up. Take cover from the dynamite. And boom. Wow. Go to the roof. Thanks. Well, this sucks. Why do I gotta get, like, exactly on the rooftop? Lancaster repeater, boy! Get out of here! I can't shoot! I can't shoot! Whoa! Ah, Arthur! Get down! Oh, dead. A Gatling gun! I shot that. I shot his hat through his head. God. It's almost as if they knew this was going to happen. They had enough time to bring in military artillery. Wait, who got arrested? Dear God. Whoa, watch out! <gasps> Lenny! He's not dead, is he? Oh my God. Ah. Wait a minute. Nope, he's dead. Ah! God damn it. Jose and Lenny. Why? Why? I feel like it would have been possible to save Lenny because I heard Dead Eye Draw, but it was like before they pulled the trigger on him. Oh, ow. Dutch. 
Wait up, Dutch. In the window, Dutch. Alright, well, let's get in there, Dutch. They Just knew like it. Fairy job in Ain't nothing like that. Yeah, almost as if they knew it. What now? I don't know. I don't. This whole town is filled with cops. Well, how long are we gonna stay here? Well, a few hours. We go back to camp. They're gonna get every last one of us. I know they're going to be watching the roads. I got it. A boat. What you mean? We stay here till nightfall. Then we sneak on down to the docks. We get ourselves out of here. Yeah. Well, where? Any place will do. That's all I got. We Man, I could never foresee that happening. Low. Both Lenny and Come back for the rest in a few Hosea. Weeks. I'm guessing it's that. We Jose, I kind of predicted a little because I saw him with the gun and Calm down. I didn't expect everybody to live during this. I mean, look at us. One last, one last score, right, Dutch? You know, one last score, one last, one last robbery. That sucks. Okay. Follow me. And keep your heads down. Quiet. Are we going to Tahiti now? Oh. Get down, get down, get down. <laughs> it's banker tents. I'm out of sight, Dutch. Someone's coming. Duck. Duck down between the seats. I hear someone. Duck where? I like ducks, Dutch. Hey, Lawman, I'm over here, but you can't find me. Boy, this has been a very depressing mission so far. Hold on, Dutch. I had to silent my phone because I got added to a random group chat. I bet you don't know anything about that. Oh, what, Dutch? What's wrong? Yeah, we are. Head over to the water. See if you can draw them out. Draw them out. How? I don't know. Make a noise. Whistle or something. Okay. Attract the guards over the area without being spotted. You got it, my man. <sighs> Ooh. And... Yeah, it's me. I'm Jenkins. My name is, uh, Jenkins Morgan. Huh. What was that? Watch out. Hey, 
Hey Dutch. They're uh, they're pretty stupid Dutch. Shut up, Dutch. I'm trying that. I like how we have the whole goon squad ready. Michael, what are you doing? We don't have enough time to take a poop. Let's go. Come on. Cow poke. Gotta get out of here. Charles. You heard what I said. Oh, I like it. Real brave. What in the hell? Who is? Excuse me, buddy. Hey, stop! 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 That is one of the most beautiful acts I ever saw. Oh. All right, Dutch. Huh. So Charles is able to outrun him, I suppose. Oh, man. Ooh. What now? Well, oh, you got on a boat. This boat ain't going to Tahiti by any chance. I don't know. Oh. Uh, John. On a boat. Jose. That wasn't good. No. no. That was not good. So None of that was good. <coughs> None of that was good. Guess I'm going to introduce myself to the captain. Give him some of this gold to secure his silence. And find out where we're heading. How do I look? Like a shifty, no good killer on the run from the law. Ain't that the truth? <coughs> Excuse me, sir. Hey, who are you? Forgive me. A stowaway. Can I see the captain, please? I come in peace. Oh. Well, it's gonna take a little more gold, but I think we're gonna be okay. This captain, he is a, a fine fella. A New Englander from the Cape. The rest of the ship is Frenchmen. They're heading down to the islands, taking some Pennsylvania coal. Now, apparently, we're going to be able to slip ashore in northern Cuba in a couple of northern days. Northern Cuba. And so, apparently. Whew. What are we going to do in Cuba, Dutch? Hold up for a while, then hurry back, gather up the rest of our family. At least we got some money now. Money... And loyalty. That you can yeah, Dutch, look where money and loyalty has uh, like gotten us. On a jolly? I highly doubt it. I reckon we hold ourselves to ourselves, and this is done and dusted. Let's hope so. I ain't no sailor, but uh, <clears throat> that cloud look like good news to you. That cloud does not look like good news to me. I can only assume what's gonna happen next oh no <laughs> oh oh god what a turn of events it went from we're gonna rob a bank to holy crap what is happening Oh my. Dutch. Dutch. I'm okay. You? Yeah. Oh. This ain't moving. No. Yeah, you go on ahead. Try and find another way. Oh, God damn it. Oh, man. Whoa. 
Oh, that is... A fire? That's them out there. You gotta jump, Arthur. You gotta jump. Oh. Swim, Arthur, swim. Oh, God, that sound. Welcome to the new world. Oh, no. Get up. God, 40 minutes, and like, at the 40 minute mark, I said, you know what? I'll do this bank robbery mission. It shouldn't be that bad. How does he survive that? They're in the middle of sea. In like 20 foot waves. Keep walking, Arthur Morgan. Whew. This is crazy. Oh. Whoa, what is happening? What is happening? I can only assume this is the new chapter? Or is this still chapter 4? I I'm a bit confused. God, this reminds me so much of the Cornwall mission. Or not Cornwall, the... The, um, the Driscoll mission. Oh, my. It's gonna make me walk around this whole island. Oh. Chapter 5, Gorma. Yep. Oh. New chapter. Oh, man. Oh. What an ending. What an ending. Oh, my. Walking simulator, man. Really? Hey, is this walking simulator or just chapter 5? Let's look, smoke. Oh, there's smoke up ahead. Campfire. It's the gang. Holy cow. Uh, boy, you're alive. Arthur, oh boy, that's it. You're a 
<laughs> I am alive. There's a miracle. It is a goddamn miracle. Here, have, have something to drink. Have a drink. Somebody give him a goddamn drink. Oh, son. Son, take it easy. Oh my. We got you. Dude, Micah is ripped. So where the hell are we? We are on the island of Guarm. Javier asked the local. It's a old sugar plantation island. Second island east of Cuba. Is it anywhere near Australia or Tahiti? It's on the way, I guess. Huh. So what next? They got guns, Dutch! They got coons. Well, next I guess we're gonna get shot. Ooh. Gentlemen, this is quite a welcome. Who are you? Senor, por favor. We are no one. What's your name? Aiden O'Malley. Is that so? What are you doing, Mr. O'Malley? Surviving. We were lost at sea in the storm. Is that so? No. I'm in the habit of looking like this. Is all of this really necessary? We got enough troubles around here right now, Mr. O'Malley, without taking a chance on a bunch of vagabonds. Behave yourselves and no harm will befall you. Vamos! Did I just get honor? For what? Oh. Let's go! We got another group rounded up down the way. What is happening? I don't get your drift, Mr. Uh... Levi Simon, senior overseer for Alberto Fusa. <laughs> oh my, this is just too crazy, too crazy. Got them chained and lashed, but they don't look too dangerous. Excuse me, sir. Who are our new friends here? <laughs> Criminales. What crime did they commit? Insurrection. <laughs> Insurrection. That's quite a word. Cállate, señor Fuentes. Cuélate. Todos. Look how clear the ocean is. Oh, this is not turning out great. More walking, wow. I swear, they really wanted the design team to flex here. Oh. Whoa. What is happening? Wait. Whoa! Duck, duck, duck. Where is he? Okay, he's dead. Everyone okay? Yeah. Oh. Reinforcements. We need to get out of here. Now we're in trouble. Come on, come on, Debbie. Everyone, huh. follow me. Oh. Come, come, come. Ah, oh, Javier. Get out of here. Get out of here. There's a lot of them. What do you think? We gotta move, Dutch. Don't lose face, son. We'll find you. Cooey, cooey. Go, go. <laughs> oh my god! What is happening?
Oh my god, this gun! High ex explosives. Is this a gun I've used before? Long arm. Okay, it's a bolt. So I've used it. Oh, come on, just die already. Dude, this guy will not die. I've almost used all my cattleman armor on that one guy. I don't any have I don't have any Are They gone? I think they're gone. Come on. Follow me. Quick. This guy just saved us. What you doing here? I have no idea. Running from somebody or something, I guess. I went to Yal. Hetul Fontaine. Dutch Vanderland. These ground rats are Micah, Bill, and Arthur. Okay. Well, Fusa will be desperate to find you. We must Fusar. be careful. Fusar. So, who is this Fusar? A tyrant, driven by nothing but power and greed. Our only purpose is to work ourselves to death to make him rich. Leon wants the people to stand up to Fusar, but most are too afraid. And you? I am not from here. I bring things in and off the islands behind Colonel Fusa's back. Hmm. Let's uh let's rest a moment. Down there is Aqua Dolce, Fusa's compound. The sugar cane these poor men kill themselves farming gets processed in that factory there. They're little more than slaves shipped in from other islands. A group escaped yesterday into the jungle hoping to find a way back to their home. You see, I thought that was Javier. Them down. That old Talking boat, Cinco Torres. My men and I use that as a hideout when we are here. Oh. Come on. I know somewhere you men can rest. Can we trust you? Sweet. I don't see you have any choice. I am the only one who can arrange a boat for you. But uh, okay. I need something in return. We have got nothing. That group of escape workers and then come meet me at the fort. If you help us get back our friend and get out of here, we will do everything we can. Thank you. Gracias. If your friend is still alive, we will have him at Fusa's compound. Hmm. There's a cave hidden below the cliffs. It will lead you right there. Thank you. The workers are somewhere in the jungle. Hopefully we can get to them before Fusa does. Of course. Gentlemen. Well. Goodbye. If this is a tropical paradise, so far it ain't up to much. I'll go scope the... Yeah, Micah, really. Arthur. I need to get some rest. Well, you're right. We all need to relax. Yeah, calm down, Dutch. What a mess. <laughs> I, I'm so sorry, boys. Get some sleep, Dutch. Micah, guard this spot. Bill, do some more scouting carefully. Oh. Oh, the deer. There's the deer. That means I'm high on her. Oh. Huh. Well, how about this? For... Oh my god. I don't even know how to explain this. I literally can't explain what happened. I, all of a sudden, I'm in chapter 4. All of a sudden, I'm on an island shooting, like, freaking Spanish or Italian guys or whatever. And, ugh, this is a crazy entrance to chapter 5. And I lost count on which episode we're on, but... 
it can't be any more than 13 can it but uh no this this uh this is the end of today's video thank you guys for watching uh rest in peace lenny rest in peace uh jose uh mm, a big sad about that but yeah uh I guess I'll see you guys in the next Red Dead video, if you can even call this Red Dead. Okay, peace out.